Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. I don't know about you guys, but I have been seeing a new trend going on in the Facebook Fraghead groups. I don't know if you guys are part of those, but I am. <laughs> I've been seeing this trend going around where people are posting photos and asking people to comment perfumes that they think that they wear or what they would like. So after seeing that, literally 50 times a day, I thought to myself, you know what would be a fun video idea? Asking my subscribers and followers to send me selfies and to do it for a YouTube video. So I did that and I will say I was not <laughs> very hopeful about this video because the first post that I made about this, these are the responses that I got. I thought that this was going to be an epic fail, a big trolling moment, but I was so shocked when I got an enormous amount of responses from you guys. I'm going to actually split this up into two parts. If you sent a photo in and you're not in here, just wait for part two. So we're just going to jump right into this. I'm going to channel my inner Brad Mondo and we're going to do some reactions. So starting with number one, this was submitted by Chris. Definitely looking like a very like indie kind of artist guy and there's pumpkins in the back, so fall. So I'm thinking like kind of like a darker vibe for this guy, for Chris. So since he looks a little like indie, I'm guessing he likes niche fragrances. I'm gonna guess Zerjoff's Tony Iommi Monkey Special. I think that that would rock on this style. Number two, we got Haley. She sent this photo in. Very, very pretty. Beautiful, beautiful lips and hair. A good fragrance for this look would be, I could see you rocking something like Carolina Herrera's Good Girl or even like Ellie Sobs, Girl of Now. I don't know why, but just looking at the photo, I'm getting like almond vibes. <laughs> Third photo is sent in by Alicia. Stunning. Oh my God. I love your hair and your eyes. Alicia is so beautiful, so feminine. I would say um, Alicia would be, I could see her rocking something like Chanel Gabrielle. Witty and Almond is a really good one. I don't know. With Alicia, I'm just seeing like really beautiful kind of floral themes, very soft and feminine, maybe even Delina. So onto the fourth one, this is actually a couple. She asked me to rate her and her boyfriend. Okay, so we're getting a little more sultry vibes from this photo. And your guy just looks like so here for it. <laughs> so you, girlfriend, I think would be rocking something darker, more sensual. I could see you rocking something like Black Opium by YSL. Ooh, actually, I take that back. I could totally see you rocking something like Love Fest Burning Cherry by Kaoli. Super sultry, woody cherry fragrance for your guy. I'm going with Ombre Leather. Do you guys agree with me? Leave a comment below also as we go what fragrances you think each person would be wearing. All right, so the next photo we have is the beautiful, stunning Bria, one of my friends that has been on this channel. Can we just take a moment to appreciate <laughs> this goddess. So she definitely needs a perfume that is just like super sexy, just bad bish energy. I could see her rocking something like Zerjop's Lyra, feisty but very feminine. I could see her rocking something like Inicio's Absolute Aphrodisiac. So next we have a photo sent in by Jamie <laughs> and his little doggy in the back. So with this vibe, it is obviously cold. He's wearing a big fat jacket. Honestly, I'm feeling like it doesn't really match the photo, but like looking at this guy, I'm getting more Tom Ford vibes. I'm getting like effing fabulous vibes. I'm getting like tobacco vanille vibes. I don't know, just to me, the guy screams Tom Ford. Am I wrong or am I right? <laughs> the next photo is Selena, so beautiful. And I'm also feeling just right off the top for her, something very soft and feminine, even like a vanilla fray, a really nice vanilla. I think that she would really rock Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. I could definitely see her rocking Vanilla Woods by Skylar, one of my favorite vanilla perfumes. So next we have Mr. Felix, a friend of mine. He sent in a photo. He is a YouTuber. There's a couple of different YouTubers sprinkled in these two videos, part one and part two. He's actually a very big YouTuber in the Spanish community, but just on this look alone, nice like suit going on, very put together, very fashionable. It's very hard to rate fragrances for YouTubers because like I know that this guy has a stupid amount of fragrances that he rotates between, you know what I mean? Like it's hard to picture a signature scent, but if I had to, I'm gonna go with Naxxus. I don't know, to me it screams Zerjoff. I think it's just because it's like a golden hour photo and it's like, 
honey vibes, but I think that that would really match the vibe of this photo. So next we have, this is another YouTuber, Fragrance Test Tube, stunning, amazing makeup. I love your hair, curly, I love curly hair. But like, I just, I love it. I'm so jealous of girls that have naturally curly hair. You guys are blessed. So with this look, I'm kind of getting something like Poets of Berlin by Villain Perfumery. That's really just the first thing that popped into my mind. Like I said, it's hard to rate YouTubers that I know have these giant collections that can just pick anything. Okay, next photo is by Carolina. Amazing dress, very sensual, sexy. She's got the pearls and the hot red lip. Maybe like a La Belle Le Parfum moment, I think would be very sexy with this look. Something very powerful. Like she looks so powerful in this photo and she needs something that's just strong. So number 10, is is set in by Elisa. Every time I see a brunette, I wanna dye my hair brown. <laughs> I want your hair. But she's giving very, very sexy vibes. I'm thinking something like Libre Le Parfum, something strong, very sexy. I really think that that lavender floral mix would work really well with her. All right, so next, <laughs> this is actually a special one because this photo was sent in by Noni and her new boyfriend. She, if you guys didn't know or haven't seen my reality TV show that I did a while ago, she was on the show with me. She is like this really iconic, very strong, you wanna talk about a boss bitch, like this is Noni. There's two sides to her, I think. In this photo, she seems like very edgy and very cool, but I think there's also like a very nice, beautiful feminine side to her as well. A fragrance that would be very cool. Just based on this photo, the vibe of it, I would say something like along the lines of Jazz Club by Maison Margiela, or a really good one I think actually would be Memoirs of a Trespasser by Imaginary Authors. I think that's a really, really good one for someone with her energy. It's a very woody vanilla fragrance. It's it When it dries down, it's just the best smell ever. But I could also see her rocking stuff like Mon Guerlain. But uh, yeah, I think those would be good picks for her. I could also see her killing something like Eau Duel by Diptyque. And for a boyfriend, Jed or Judd, <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me, Noni, I'm sorry. The pink hat, oh my God. I could see him rocking something like Toy Boy. Okay, the next photo is sent in by another YouTuber or an influencer, Tom, giving super dark vibes with this. First thing that pops into my head, Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Love that one, so sexy. I think it definitely fits his vibe. All right, number, what is this, 13? We got Mr. Clean, who doesn't have a YouTube channel, but He's very involved in the like live streaming community. I can't let his name like sway my decision because I'm thinking clean, clean, clean. <laughs> but actually I think that that is kind of his personal preference. I think he likes green kind of fresh fragrances. I want to say Dracar Noir, but I know that that's just me being silly. But I could definitely see him rocking just a really green, like let's go with Mr. Smelly's fragrances, okay? Gravitas, I could see him killing that one. I'm sorry, Mr. Clean, that wasn't very helpful. <laughs> the next photo is sent in by Keita. Very pretty blonde, I love the jean jacket. Very kind of cool girl vibes. I think the same thing with her. I think I could definitely see her rocking something like Jazz Club by Maison Margiela or something like like um, autumn vibes or by the fireplace, I think would be really sexy. I think something like Sensual Instinct by Montal would be killer on you. All right, so guys, we have the last one for this list is sent in by Jared and very cool selfie. Looks like a very like clean cut kind of guy. Nice collared shirt and jacket. Looks like something like Chicago in the background. Could be totally wrong, but nice city, nice skyline. I could picture something a little fresher, maybe something like Aventus, light blue intense, something like Naxxas again is a very good one I think for you. Or even something like Musk Therapy. I think you could rock it. So that's the last person that we are judging for this round of guessing people's fragrances, guessing fragrances that match people's vibes. I don't know exactly what, how the heck I'm gonna title this video, but <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much if you were involved in this process. I think this is a very fun idea and I haven't seen any other YouTubers doing it so I might be starting a trend. Let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video. I can definitely do a ton more. I love these types of videos where I get to be interactive with my followers and my subscribers. I just, I think it kind of makes everything feel you know, a little more close-knit and it's fun to kind of get to see your faces. You can see a lot of my face. It's nice to see your face every once in a while. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment below. 
and leave a comment below if you'd like to see more of these. I would love to hear your thoughts and I will see you guys next time. Bye.